Welcome back to DC Comic Sticks with me, James Sticks, and each month I'll be reviewing a different comic book by DC Comics, and on this week I'll be reviewing Harley Quinn uh, Valentine's Day Special One Shot. It's like Christmas all over again, and we're a mad love of Harley this month. So let's start with the cover, and this month there were two different variations of the cover. Um, one which was uh, had a, a kind of white background. Um, if we have a look closely, we got Batman in chains with her love. Um, he's obviously enjoying it. The more he frowns, the more it looks like he smiles because he's upside down, um, which is pretty funny. In the background, we've got some screwballs <laughs> and some nuts just to show just how wacky and crazy in love this whole comic is. This issue is different to the Christmas special because this is one story instead of a collection of stories. The issue called Just Batty in Love features Harley Quinn and the Mighty Carp, who are both trying to uh, raise money for the Animal Foundation, so Harley Quinn for dogs and cats, and the Mighty Carp for fish. Yes, I know, it was already sounding ridiculous. The story is simple yet solid. Bruce Wayne is up at auction um, to raise money. He's the most eligible billionaire, so a lot of the rich women want to buy him. Harley Quinn decides that she also wants to go on a date with Bruce Wayne and therefore needs to steal a million dollars or so just to, just to win Bruce. Um, she gets it by acting like a Robin Hood, um, but then the mighty carp also wants to get the money, um, and so they have a battle for Bruce Wayne, he gets kidnapped, it all gets a bit crazy. With no Batman to save Bruce, Harley Quinn must take down the Mighty Carp and his sidekick, Sea Robin, um, in order to save the day. Okay, so if that didn't sound crazy enough, here are some of the highlights from this issue. Number one, Harley gets her smooch on with Batman and Bruce Wayne, a lucky girl. Number two, we get two cameos from Poison Ivy, one in a dream sequence and one in the real life scenario. And number three, we get the sassiest three panels from Harley Quinn ever. We have a little daydream in the middle of our, which she explains, and trust me, it's quite funny. Number four, Harley Quinn becomes a new Robin and gets her own bat pole. Don't worry, it is just a dream, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> Low lights from this issue, so things which weren't quite as good. Um, there's a creepy dream sequence in which uh, Bruce Wayne goes from having no eyes uh, to creepy red eyes, and it's, it's all a bit strange. On the serious side, the issue is quite long. It does feel like the story is just being dragged out through dream sequences. Um, it's a method of making you pay more, but getting less in a way, unless you really, really enjoy the funny kind of dream sequence aspects of it. Overall, this comic is pretty good. I'd say it's definitely a step up from a Christmas edition. Maybe the writers watched my last review and took some notes. You almost need to reread this issue to really capture everything that goes on here, um, but I'd definitely say this is a step up. I'm going to give it a 70 out of 100, which is 20 points more than a 50 I gave the last edition, so well done to the writers there for changing my mind about her. So, of course, the comic is available to buy now. Um, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, make sure you follow me on the social media links below, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you again next time.